today I will teach you how to write a Boy Genius-y song. To write like Boy Genius, you're going to need three essential things. First, you'll need a guitar. Next, you'll need a healthy mix of processed and unprocessed emotions. And third, you'll probably need somewhere to sit, like a bed that has preferably crumbs on it. Next, we'll need to dress for the part. You'll be wearing all black to get in the mood. Throw on a blazer and a tie if you're up to the occasion. <laughs> okay, girl boss. By the end of this process, you should look like either Frog or Toad from the hit children's book series, Frog and Toad. Here's a model. Okay, now we're ready to start writing. The first thing we'll need to make a Boy Genius song is lyrics. Lyrics are what make these songs really sparkle and shine above all the other songs you could be streaming right now. We'll want to write something deeply intimate, almost overshare, while also being super furtive and enigmatic. We want to leave people almost uncomfortable with how much we share, but also wanting to know a bit more. Let's keep people on the edge of their seats, like I was at the Boy Genius concert yesterday, hanging on their every word. So let's start and be a little bit messy about it. To write these lyrics, we'll need a few key things, so try to check as many of these boxes as possible. I'll be writing these lyrics along with you and providing the elements that we'll need that make up a core genius, <laughs> core genius, boy genius, the core of a boy genius song as I go. Now that you have your typewriter set up, we're ready to write. I assume most of you have typewriters at your disposal. If not, I guess paper and pen will suffice. The first thing we want to talk about is dogs because everyone loves dogs so we'll have to mention a dog and if you want to mention a cat please don't let's say I saw I saw a black dog it's kind of Harry Pottery next we'll have to include something about our dreams so I'll say in my dreams awesome we'll have to mention a random room in our house be as specific as possible when writing these lyrics. Now, since we mentioned a dream, we're going to want to mention a nightmare. Let's say something depressing. Reality is a nightmare. And we'll embellish a bit. Oh, I made a mistake. The next thing you want to include is dialogue. They do this in a lot of Phoebe songs as well, but in Boydinus in general, we're gonna wanna have the folksy trope of including dialogue. So I said, you said, he said, he said, she said, they said, we said. Let's say, you said, how did you sleep? Well, how do I do a quotation? Should I film this whole thing? Okay, and now let's say our dialogue back. Let's say, I said, I just closed my eyes and it happened. I'm gonna cut out all the typing from now because it's too cumbersome, it's taking too long. Next, we're going to want to mention an arbitrary celebrity, preferably a musician. For this example, I picked Jack Johnson. It was a tie between Jack Johnson and Barack Obama, but I wasn't sure if Barack Obama has released any music lately. Although I think he did win a Grammy, but probably Jack Johnson has too. Anyways, I wrote, and now Jack Johnson is singing about pancakes. The next thing you'll want to include is some kind of yearning. So I said, I'm wishing we had a dog. After we did some yearning, now we're going to want to add something self-deprecating. I said, I wish I had more money and a better voice. That'll do it. And then I added, and a house, not an apartment, so I can make more noise. That's very honest. Now we want to say something about being skinnier. I said, I want to be skinny. Perfect. Now you're going to want to say something really honest. I wrote, I don't shower enough. But now we're going to want to make it poetic. So I said, bathe me in flowers and compliments and other bath stuff. Awesome. Now we're going to take it to the chorus. No, wait, that's wrong. Now we're going to take it to the pre-chorus. You're going to want to have a lot of ing verbs. They include a lot of ing verbs in their songs. Drowning, driving, and lying. All three things I'm not very good at, except once I almost did drown in the ocean. Anyways, let's say driving. So I'm going to say we're driving somewhere, and I wrote we're driving to. So you're going to need to pick a random city, somewhere preferably in rural America. 
Um, I chose Dayton. I don't know exactly where that is, but that sounds very American. Um, so I said, driving to Dayton. Let's throw in a dog for good measure. A dog in the back. And now we're going to call back to something we mentioned in the beginning, a small detail. And we're going to have another ing verb. We're going to have a listening. So I wrote, listening to your old CDs of Jack. And now we're going to throw in a lying there, because lying is in a lot of these songs. And lying to myself that I even felt anything. Deep. Now it's time to take it to the chorus. We are going to want to have something existential. So then just say something existential. Um, so I literally wrote, then just say something existential for my line. And then we're going to want something about feeling outside of your body. So I said, so I could zone out being a ghost out above my body, floating in and out. Sure. And now we're going to want something that people could scream at a show, and preferably that they would cry to while they're screaming. So I wrote, I don't know myself, but I know what's right. It's pithy. I don't know myself, but I know what's right. Yeah, I could see myself crying to that at a show. For the last lyric here, we're going to want to say something that doesn't rhyme, but that has a kind of sort of slant rhyme that's hidden inside. So our last lyric was, I don't know myself, but I know what's right. Let's try to make something that doesn't rhyme by saying, and trying, and I'm trying to figure out my life. Right and life. Because the first initial lyrics I wrote were, but I put up a fight, or some part of me is doing all right, which is actually kind of cool, but we want a slant rhyme in there. So I know what's right, and I'm trying to figure out my life. Life, right. Because it's not a Dr. Seuss song. It's a boy genius song. So it's not going to rhyme. We're going to rinse and repeat all of those characteristics for the next verse that we have. I'll throw in some bonus tips for you here. We're going to also want to include a random object. The more specific, the better. Um, I chose my car. So I said, you said my 2010 Prius is junk. Woo. We're going to develop a story now. So we're going to have to say something really sassy and show no remorse about it. This is a key part of a Boy Genius song. I kicked you out of my car. I said, walk home in the heat. Get your steps in. Hoo 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 burn. Okay. And now we're adding in the dialogue again, again, developing the story farther. I said, you said something I couldn't hear, like, it's too far. My windows were rolled up and the AC was blasting and I was too busy driving my car. Okay, okay, fire. Now we'll talk more about how you feel mo no remorse. So I said, I felt no remorse until the apartment felt empty. Ooh, call back. You took the dog. All right, yeah, now we're circling back to the very beginning here. So I said, now we're gonna say something honest again with religious undertones. That's even better. Two birds, one stone. So I said, I miss him more than you sometimes. I need God. So we have dog and God there. We love palindromes, so if you could add some more in there, like race car, I don't know. I'm sprinkling in the ideas here. And um, be self-aware that this is sad music. So I'm gonna say, run a bath in my mouth and make another sad song. It's good to be self-aware. There we go, everyone. That's how to write the lyrics. Now we're going to develop the sound, the sound atmosphere. Let's get to it. Now that you've got your guitar, since that's the backbone of the musical part of most Boy Genius songs, you're gonna use some folksy chords. They don't have to be super complicated. You don't even need bar chords necessarily. We're going to go with a simple progression of C, C over B, A minor 7, and F. Preferably you'd use a capo, but I don't want to transpose it in case I'm going to do strings on the piano. Next, we're going to need the pre-chorus and the chorus chords, and we'll use chords also within the same kind of key. So we'll do D minor 7, G, A minor 7, F, and C. Awesome. Now we'll need drums. I'm going to open up GarageBand, pick out a drum track that sounds the most like the boys. You want something simple and loud, but still with some fills that go along and accentuate the lyrics of your song. Now 
hour later, we've made some progress here. I'll play a little bit so far. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rewrite part of this to include an intro because uh, none of their songs start off just start singing so I'm gonna rewrite a lot of these chords <laughs> I just woke up so my audio interface was plugged in I wasn't actually recording myself talking but I think I'm talking about how cool I am and um, <laughs> how I started over so that I could get a more solid timing in on the track here and here I'm talking about the bass, adding some really heavy bass, and how it adds literally really heavy to hold up like that. I need three part harmonies, so hard. Now that I've done a whole bunch of guitar, probably for like an hour, I'm gonna add some more, hopefully better vocals, and then we're gonna EQ everything, <laughs> probably do some pitch correction, because I'm really not that great at singing. And um, I've been listening to a lot of Boy Genius today as a reference slash inspiration, so I have to do a lot more of a screaming vocal, kind of like, la la la, but not like that, but <laughs> be better, okay. This is fun. <laughs> have a lot of layers to do right now. I'm recording right now, actually. All right, so now I'm gonna play you guys the song we created, and I'll explain each of these parts. First, this is the drums. Really simple, kind of loud. Cool. And you're gonna want a really cool kind of intro. Echoey, loose, just think it's a vibe more than anything <laughs> and I can continue this kind of echoey guitar throughout there's gonna be a lot of that next you're gonna want something to kind of combat that echoiness so we have a more straightforward guitar It's almost like a finger style picking. And together they kind of sound ethereal. A little muddy. <laughs> I could work on that. And now we have one more guitar. Oh wait, this is the bass. <laughs> Thought I had another guitar. The bass is heavy, it's clean, not super funky or anything like that. You're gonna add a whole bunch of vocal tracks. And these are just natural vocals, no um, effects. I actually didn't end up doing pitch correction. There are a lot of harmonies in Boy Genius songs. Um, usually three part harmonies, because they're a three person band. Yeah, let's give it a listen. I uh, will go through the first verse and chorus and tell me what you think in the comments. Have we achieved the Boy Genius song? sound what can we do better for next time but yeah this is not supposed to be like a rip off of what they sound like more of an interpretation and this is a really fun songwriting exercise i found that i kind of write like them already so it was interesting and i guess that's why i'm drawn to their music is it's music that i try to like to make anyways or like to try to make anyways but let me know what you think
the gist of the song what do you guys think should i release that on my spotify yeah let me know what you think i'm really curious to hear your thoughts um i'm curious to hear your music if you're producing any but i had a lot of fun making this tutorial for you on how to make a boy genius like song i hope you enjoyed this songwriting exercise and i will be releasing more music and more videos about making music soon so please like and subscribe comment below and if you'd like to check out my music, it's all streaming now on Spotify, Apple, wherever you listen to music online these days. So I'm Sophia Sweet. Thanks for tuning in and stay sweet, y'all.